Now, after last month's political unrest and massive protests in the Solomon Islands, Prime Minister Sogavari has managed to hang on to his chair by surviving a no-confidence vote. He's also blamed Taiwan and its agents for the political turmoil in the country. For its part, though, Taiwan has condemned Sogavari's remarks, with the Taiwanese Foreign Ministry saying, and I quote here, our government calls on the central government of the Solomon Islands to listen to the voice of the people and not to deludedly try to govern the country and the people by following China's dictatorial and autocratic model. The four-term Prime Minister Sugavare has been under immense pressure following the death of at least about four people and several days of violence that has left dozens of buildings completely gutted in the capital last week. The violence flared up after the pro-Beijing Prime Minister refused to speak with the protesters who had travelled from Malaita and the simmering tensions over the 2019 switch of diplomatic ties to China from Taiwan has fueled a dispute between the national government and the Malaita provincial government. Sir, and if I am to be removed, it must be by the legal process and it must be by members of parliament and not by calls to resign by Taiwan's agents, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Gavari has said that his cabinet made the decision to switch ties because China is an economic powerhouse. It was unlawful for the provinces to engage in diplomatic relations with other nations. The opposition has slammed the Prime Minister for using Chinese money to hold on to power. The Prime Minister is dependent on the NDF money to maintain his political strength. Sir, how is he then supposed to make decisions that are wholly only in the interests of Solomon Islands, untainted or undiluted by considerations for the PSC funds. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.